Howdy folks, my name is Effing Controller, and I'm your social director on this lovely cruise through the Pacific Theater of Operations number two. And uh, I am certainly not going to regret having said those words at some later date. Uh, for now, though, things are going really, really well for us. Uh, it is the month of February, though, uh, so that means we have a new admiral, and he is an admirable admiral, if I do say so myself. He is a, um, a model major general and a beast of a priest. He is, of course, Padre Reed. And uh, the good father has uh, given me the following orders. Number one, to continue our presence in held places, of course. And that's him saying, of course, by the way. That's not just me being snarky. Uh, number two, if possible, capture Papua New Guinea and or the Solomon Islands. More about that later. Um, number three, <laughs> keep the Amato safe with some escorts. And number four, finally, the most important one, and pardon the language, and that's, again, him saying to pardon the language, because I don't give a fuck, but he wants me to, quote, fuck shit up. Uh, but in the good way. <laughs> Which is an important qualifier for me, and uh, really a kind of a separate uh, edict from the good father. May you make my ideas actually seem good. Well, I have no guarantees there. But, um, I, I gave a pregnant pause, I guess, after the, the second goal to capture Papua New Guinea. And the reason I did that is because the game is weird about the island of Papua here. So I'm gonna get my mouse here and uh, you can see that these bases are blue. These are Dutch. So that's that, that's historical, That that's perfectly normal, whatever. Then we have these green bases, which are Australia. Which makes sense, because we're not at war with them. Green bases are neutral, so we can't attack there. And then we've got these two little blue bases. And those are British, for some reason. I thought that Port Moresby and this part of New Guinea, or Papua New Guinea, um, were a part of Australia. But, um, I don't know. At this point in history, I think that that's the case. Although I know that, you know, it's Commonwealth. And it's honestly kind of ludicrous that Australia isn't at war with us yet because of that whole Commonwealth thing. The New Zealanders are at war with us because they're basically just considered Britain in this game. But, you know, it, really the point, I'm not trying to make a broader historical point, I guess. The point that actually is important here is that we have two separate landings that we'll have to conduct, and we can do it. It's just gonna be a little bit challenging. And meanwhile, we have uh, Guadalcanal over here. It's British, we can attack that whenever we want. And then finally, we have Espiritu Santo, which is not technically a part of the Solomons, I don't think, but we could go wreck it anyways. And then Fiji is actually over somewhere here. Fiji might be fun. We could steal all of their bottled water. Um, but for now, um, that's that's my objective, so I have um, a few fleets at my disposal. The Americans don't really have any fleets at their disposal. Um, so I'm going to have the 1st and the ninth fleets go to Shell Manila, because we have some marines that um, are on Davao, or in Davao, I guess. And I'm going to send them up to finally uh, seal the deal up there, and hopefully my uh, fleets can help out. And then, uh, the second fleet, which is over here, uh, he's in Marcus right now, and I'm going to have him re-up on planes, and then from there, I think, well, I'm not too sure what I want the second to do after that. The third and the fourth are in truck, or chook, and I'm going to have them re-up on planes. <laughs> uh, the fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth fleets are right here. And they're picketing for uh, American contact, so I'm going to keep them doing that. I I actually have to check something, uh, which I'll show you here in a moment after I finish kind of telling you what I'm going to be up to. The 11th, 13th, 14th, and 15th fleets, uh, the 11th is all the way over here, but the 13th, 14th, and 15th are going to shell the shit out of Biak. Blech. <laughs> That's how I'm going to pronounce it. Uh, they're going to shell this base here and take it. I don't think that the Dutch have too many forces there. Um, the 10th fleet is going to actually join up with the 1st fleet and combine with it because you can see it's just four destroyers and that follows um, the third edict of one Padre Reed. Uh, the 11th fleet is part of that group that's going to basically conduct the New Guinea campaign. Um, 
part of the Papua campaign. The island is called Papua. Papua New Guinea is this half of it. This other half is Papua, but it's a part of Indonesia now, so it's... I don't understand anything anymore. Uh, the 12th fleet is going to meet up with the 3rd and the 4th. It has a carrier. Uh, the 12th actually does need to conduct some repairs, though, so I'm going to... Um, if, if that's not gonna... They're gonna be a non-factor, possibly, for this month. I don't know. It may not be. Let's actually take a look. They're almost in Tokyo Bay, so... Um, they should be repairing shortly. Let's take a look, though, because I think that they do need to... Make some repairs. Maybe I'm not remembering this correctly. Yeah, they have a couple of cruisers that need some repair. Uh, this destroyer also does need a little bit of TLC. The Learning Channel where no learning happens at all. And I think that covers it. Um, so that's that's the, the big sweaty plan I've come up with. Our subs, meanwhile, are pretty well situated. I'm gonna keep the first and the second, whatever those are. I think it's the I-1 and then the I-2? The I-4. They're gonna hang out around Midway. Um, and uh, other than that, my Marines are gonna try to storm Manila. From there, we're gonna hit uh, New Guinea. And, uh, by the way, some guy named Grimith wants me to, uh, take a look at some of the data here, uh, under Nation. I haven't looked at this very much, but, uh, oh, actually, this isn't exactly, it actually is part of what he wants to know about. So, this is a comparison of how much money we've spent on our foreign budget, which I think is probably what he's most interested in based on his other question. And uh, also how our technology stacks up. We severely outpace the Americans in these three key areas. Our spy tech is zero. I'm fine with that. Um, and industry, they're really, really a lot better than us, though. And that's the thing that's kind of worrisome, is that they can start developing um, or build new ships a lot quicker than us. So that could be a concern later on down the road. But the other thing that he wanted me to look at is this. And this is our political situation. Um, I wonder if I can actually scroll through and see if there's anything else that's interesting. Not really. Uh, so this is actually um, important though. We could possibly get a military pact with Thailand at this point. We have pretty decent support and we are outspending the Americans on foreign affairs, which is important because um, I think that our, uh, the, the stuff that we negotiate for in the monthly meeting, I think ours will go into effect more so than theirs, or maybe theirs won't go into effect at all, like if they want to negotiate with a power that we're negotiating with, I think ours supersedes theirs, I don't remember exactly how it works, but um, in any event, we're actually doing well diplomatically, I think, personally, I think. Uh, the Soviets, the Australians, the Australians are actually... They don't like us, but they're kind of okay with us. So, um, that's that there. I just wanted to show that because, uh, like I said, somebody wanted to see it. The other thing uh, that a few people have wanted to see is the ships that have been sunk. And you're going to be disappointed. The reason for that is that every month this resets, and I didn't know this until um, I checked it uh, recently. So that kind of sucks, but... Uh, it, you know what, I kind of think it's fair, because in the real war, you had one of the biggest challenges that both sides faced was asset tracking. And uh, that led to situations, for instance, like the Enterprise, which was, according to Japanese intelligence, sunk at least three times, and was announced as such. <laughs> it never sunk, but, uh, you know, that's, that's kind of the tricky part. Now, um, if you guys want to be vigilant about what sunk, then by all means do, but, eh... We're really just kicking their ass. It's it's not that super important, I don't think, anyways. But <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna get to business here. I'm gonna start ordering our fleets around, and um, I'll keep you guys apprised as usual with any fantastically fun developments. I might have made a boo boo. <laughs> I have the Yamato and its uh, sister battleship heading towards. Uh, Manila. Hey, all right. Oh no. <laughs> and they did just get bombed. That's that's not good. 
That's really not good. Hey, all right, that's even better. Um, the thing is, is that they actually are in need of some repair. So this was a little bit reckless. Uh, it says minimal and slight, but uh, I think the Yamato is actually not in great shape. Meanwhile, not far away, I discovered an enemy fleet. And it is two cruisers. We have how many cruisers? Two and then five destroyers. Let's not watch. I think the results will be somewhat predictable. Holy balls, it just... <laughs> I can't... Oh dear. Uh, meanwhile, they do have some land forces still on Marshall. They've been attacked every turn. Um, and they're not doing so well, unsurprisingly. Although they do have tanks. But they are... Uh, they're, they're, they're not going to make it too much longer. I also have Marines attacking Manila. I think that they may attack this turn. Uh, but meanwhile, for now, it looks like we're attacking that American division on Marshall. Yeah, I think that we also have one more division. And it might be attacking as well now. Because we've got tanks on Marshall too. Oh, well, that's that. Oh, boy. Okay, well, we got away with one, really, as far as the first fleet. I actually didn't finish my orders. I accidentally hit the proceed button. So, like, when you do this, you don't want to hit yes if you're not ready to continue on to the next phase, just in case you were wondering. Uh, so I didn't move some of my fleets that I intended to, so that happened. I, I don't really know what I meant to really in part other than that okay so uh we're gonna probably be attacking manila this coming turn and uh we're gonna have our third and fourth fleet in the area of guadalcanal soon things are things are progressing 13th and 15th and 14th right yeah they're all gonna be attacking biak soon as well today is the fifth and i have the third and the fourth fleet launching air raids uh, the third is attacking uh, guadalcanal the fourth is attacking espiritu santo and then uh the first and the ninth are going to be shelling manila today and they are very lucky because it is raining and they can't launch bombers at them yes the weather gods favor me and then the tenth is heading down there to join up with the first and i think we might also be landing troops at Blech. Let's take a look. Looks like it. Looks like that's gonna happen. So let's uh, let's get this party started. Cinco de Februario. All right. And they don't have an air any kind of any kind of air force at uh, Guadalcanal. They do have um, some troops. We are launching an ungodly number of planes at them. I'm going to have them target the forces. Because I don't really want to damage any of the supplies or anything, because those are mine. I want them. And we're going to do some pretty hefty damage to them, because I rearmed all my planes. And they are using bombs. They're not dropping torpedoes on them. Oh my god. This is going to continue on like this for a while. So I'll let you know the outcome. Some pretty horrible losses for them there. Uh, then I think, are we going to be attacking Espiritu Santo? I just like saying that. That's, that's fun. Oh my god, they have planes. Well, we have a lot of planes too. I just remembered that those are called Fairy Fulmers. It's adorable. They're so magical. But they didn't do too, uh, too well against us. We should uh, be bombing the base. And they have no land forces there. Uh, oof. I sent everything I had at them, though, I thought. I thought that we would be actually bombing them, but it looks like we're probably going to be just wrecking shit. Good deal. All right, now we're shelling Manila. That's fun to say. Shelling Manila. 
It's like Millie Vanilli. Won't watch this. I think the results will be pretty predictable. Because they can't shoot back. That's horrible. Uh, the Ninth Fleet is... Is it entirely cruisers? I can't honestly remember. It's got a cruiser in it, right? It's, it's half and half. I will not watch this. You know what I should actually tell them to do? I should have actually gone in and manually told them to attack the airfield. Because that's really more of a concern. But, uh... Oh well, mistakes were made. <laughs> And they have no troops at Biak. So, actually, I'm just going to tell them to wave off. Just forget about it. Why are you smoking? It's bad for you. I didn't know we had a badly damaged uh, cruiser. Uh, I'm going to just tell them all to retreat. Because I don't want them to damage all of the delectable goodies at Biak. And we just landed our marines there. And... There you go. Easy peasy. Easy peasy Japanesey. Oh my god, did that just get said? I was in control of that. I can't. What? You're so full of shit right now. Why are they going back there? They're going back to the well. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the zombie battleships. What are they doing? I don't have any troops there, actually. This isn't a bad play on their part. If they actually have marines, I'm going to be somewhat embarrassed. Well, they don't have any marines. So screw them. Um, they're going to die. I will not just stand idly by. And I think that uh, we'll take Manila pretty quickly, but... A little bit worrisome about that uh, that ship in the 6th Fleet or 9th Fleet, whatever the hell. I might send it to Shanghai, actually. Because I don't want to lose a cruiser in some horrible misadventure. I want it to be a fun, zany misadventure, not a horrible one. Shoot them harder. God damn it. Well, that was a good turn. Good turn. Um, I might just have the Marines there on back. Uh, just kind of do cleanup. And then uh, might land them at Moresby, honestly, at this point. Because, holy crap. Uh, and meanwhile, it is a bright, beautiful, sunny day in Manila. Um, shit. Well... That's a problem, but uh, we'll weather it together, won't we, folks? I'm going to issue my orders, and uh, probably the next thing you'll see is the Yamato getting sunk. But we'll see. We just captured so wrong. It's so wrong, it's right. Had to, I'm sorry. Uh, I ordered the Marines that captured Biak to just go over there and uh, do a little cleanup. Meanwhile, speaking of cleanup, some messy business over here in... Gilbert. I have a couple fleets that I sent down that away, and I'm going to be having them search. I detached the third fleet from its uh, sister fleet, the fourth fleet, and I'm hoping to possibly launch an air attack on the battleships, but we'll see if that works out. I have to, of course, detect them first. Oh, goodness. Wait a minute. That's not the first fleet. But it's two battleships, so I guess that's it. Okay. Alright. Well, we'll take care of that. Oh my goodness. Fifth Fleet is the one with our most of our battleships, so I'm not sure how this will go. Uh, you know what? I might... Let's see if my third fleet can even order a raid on them. Oh, I don't have any points. Ugh. Well, shit. Um, you know what? I think they can hold out a little longer. There's nothing much going on on Gilbert, so I'm just gonna let it get shelled before I can concentrate my power. There's no reason to, you know, waste my fleet in an attack. I mean, admittedly, it's just two damaged battleships, but, yeah. 
That's my, those are my thoughts. Uh, the fourth fleet, meanwhile, is near Espirito Santo. And I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, launch an airstrike on it. Because... It's fun. So there you go. Uh, that's what I got in store for this coming turn. Oh boy. I know that you're all waiting with bated breath to see the outcome. And in hindsight, I should have ordered these guys to just attack Guadalcanal because I forgot there's nothing really to attack here. Uh, I'm not going to watch this because it's pointless. And it is honestly a bad idea that I did this, but there you go. We're going to get experience, though, so that helps. We just attacked their stores, I guess. That was kind of pointless. Uh, they haven't launched an air attack on the first fleet. We got extraordinarily lucky there. Uh... So that's cool. Uh, should I... Yes, I should. I'm going to tell these ships to actually attack the airfield because I am greatly concerned that they will get bombed later on. So, uh, as it will take a while, uh, I'm just gonna cruise on through this. Got another air raid going into Guadalcanal. I'm gonna attack their land forces since they have no air forces. Uh... Just gonna let them do what they want. They're not gonna probably attack the land forces as much as I would like them to, but oh, that that that's that 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 that's fine. You did a good job. And now we are attacking the 14th fleet, I guess, with our air force. Oh my god! I think we can take out those battleships. What do you think? Now, I don't remember. These guys might... Yeah, I think my torpedo bombers are actually set to bombs. I just realized this. That was an error. These are dive bombers, so we'll see how they do. They're diving. <laughs> They're diving directly into the ocean. Good job. These are new pilots. you have to forgive them. Yep. Those are torpedo bombers, but they did a decent job of it. Those guys are terrible, though. Shame on them. So this could be a complete waste. Note to self, never do another air raid against battleships. It's just not worth it. Oh, God. Another mighty sacrifice for Cthulhu. I'm really beating the shit out of these battleships, but they uh, just keep on ticking. There we go, finally. This one's smoking. Might be able to finish this one off here. Or not. Oh, that, that, that's it. Good. Okay. <laughs> then we got our zeros shooting at this other one. Maybe that one bullet, that one bullet will do it. Ah, oh, so close. <laughs> I think that might be it. Nope, they hit it in the bow as opposed to the side where there's smoke and oil and water and... Oh, God. Okay, well, that's okay. That, that, that's, that's decent. And that fleet no longer exists. Well, good. At some pretty significant cost. But, you know, we gotta get air experience, you know? It's like an apprenticeship, you know? Is that how that works? It's where the apprentice gets uh, killed by their master <laughs> repeatedly. I don't know. Oh boy. Uh, let's not watch this. Uh, this division here in Manila is probably going to get killed this turn. Oh my god, yeah, they will. Because our marines are attacking now. This battle might be their last. Come on. 
Don't make an ass of me, game! Jerk. You have another division attacking, though, so that's okay. This, this, this is the one. There you go. Alright, the Philippines are ours. Amazing! Wow. So that fleet, that first fleet needs to dock at Manila now and possibly undergo some repairs. I don't know if they have a dry dock at Manila. Good question, self. Let's find out. I'm gonna take a look-see. Either way, I'm gonna have them resupply, so I guess that's a stupid thing to check. They do! And I've destroyed the air bases there. Oopsies. Those are expensive. <laughs> Alright, well that's okay. I'm gonna have uh, the first fleet uh, pop a squat in Manila for a little bit. Job well done. And I'm gonna send some of the Marines, I'm gonna send at least, yeah I'm gonna send one division away. And uh, well that's all boring shit, you don't wanna watch that. See, we've got a couple divisions here. Um, they're gonna end up probably joining our troops that are gonna be involved in the New Guinea campaign. The Papua New Guinea campaign. The super, super fun time campaign. 